Okay, welcome back. Disorder at the border and big time trouble for Democrats. A new Siena College poll finds that eight out of 10 voters believe the recent influx of migrants to New York is a serious problem for the state. But that's not all. 52% of New Yorkers disapprove of the job President Joe Biden is doing. Interesting, considering uh, most New Yorkers are very, very, very liberal. Okay, and joining us now to discuss is John Burnett back in studio with us. Uh, John, what do you make of those polls? Again, for me, as, as a longtime New Yorker, uh, that's surprising when it, uh, New Yorkers actually admit that they're not on the side of a Democrat. Wait. Are you admitting that people are starting to wake up and have right? common sense in New York? I don't want to hold my breath. We'll but see it's, come uh, voting day. Yeah, exactly. Let's wow. just see. We'll see. This is the day that I've been waiting for. However, I, ha I don't want it under these conditions. Mm. You know, it's terrible. You, when you look at the crisis at the border, it has definitely impacted New York. And sadly to say, if the, re if the border remains open, other cities urban cities around the country will become the same. Because when you look at it, Eric Adams is introducing the concept of when you cross the border and you, and you as soon as you get off the bus in New York, we'll give you your own tent and your own supplies and you pick whatever street you want to pitch a tent. Yeah, just in time for winter. Terrible, it's a terrible concept. You say other cities, what about the small towns outside yeah, of point. cities? They already, we did this story a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. They were gonna take them to upstate New York to yes. one of the counties up there. We interviewed the executive. Don't, I, don't make any, no mistake about this. It, it will get out to the but, rural parts of the country. But Bob, you heard the song, right? Don't try this in a small town. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, that one. The response is probably gonna <laughs> be a little different. Is, yes. But, but it's, it, it's an economic issue, it's a health issue, it's a crisis. And unfortunately, DC, Mayor, mayors like Eric Adams and some of these governors are not handling it the way, the way it needs to be handled. And you look at it, imagine tents all over New York City, the streets of New York City. It'll start looking like Los Angeles, mm -hmm. San Francisco, mm -hmm. and you can see the vast decline of those cities economically, health-wise, and so forth. People are fed up. Yeah. And they have to speak now all the way up to the day of the election in 2024. Also, speaking of Mayor Eric Adams, I do want to get your reaction to these comments by him. Take a listen. We are out of room. And it's not uh, if people will be sleeping on the streets, it's when. We are at full capacity. Uh, we've heard him say that. That's not the first time. But then he still refuses to say that the border should be closed. Uh, so it's like, okay, well, we can't take him anymore. But yeah, hey, keep sending buses, but just somewhere else. It sounds like a holiday message. We, there's no more room in New York. In the no room end. at the end, right? <laughs> Town, small towns. Yes. Yeah. So, I just saw someone sleeve pop in here. That would be Curtis <laughs> Sliwa. He has joined us here. Uh, Very that's sneaky, Mr. Sliwa. That, that <laughs> subway system in New York, it can never get you here when you need to get here. <laughs> All right, so what we were going to talk about with you, you were able to get some of these migrant shelters in yep. certain neighborhoods shut down. I'm eight. Sure, eight. Talk eight. about how Good you get it. Yeah. Well, each... Uh, is a different circumstance. Uh, some are large, some are small, and you have to sort of find the Achilles heel. Because Eric Adams, swagger man with no plan, he just opens them up mm. without any thought of ramification. So you work with fire wardens, fire marshals, you work with the community, you call 311, which is like not an emergency number, but right. a complaint number, and then all of a sudden, you have a phalanx of officials pouring over that building, one of whom actually was knocked out Mm. Uh, who was trying to go in and look at a migrant center because they don't want you to see what's going on inside. Right. crazy. Because everything is just not being done correctly. And so we got eight vacate orders, but we got a big one in Floyd Bennett Field. Seven tents they've, they've constructed within one week for about 7,500 single able-bodied men. That's wow. the biggest to date. Yeah. And so, so what happens next, then? What are you going to do? Uh, well, I get arrested the 81st, 82nd, I was, I was 83rd, and I was wondering what number you were on. <laughs> I know you broke 80 recently. <laughs> we're closing the bridge there. We're closing the, the parkways. We're going to tie it up in knots. I have a huge town hall meeting tonight to discuss all the civil disobedience, because that's the only thing they pay attention to is pain compliance. If you protest, demonstrate, yeah, you right. know, they, they ignore you. 
So we're going to make Eric Adams pay for this. So, so the big takeaway I got here, and, and like you just said, you can protest, you can scream and shout. Really, you're saying you got to go through it kind of the correct way, the correct channel, and that is fire code. Go through 311. Get into the innards of these potential sites and say, this actually is illegal the way you're doing this. Takes a lot of patience. Uh, mm -hmm. You have to be persistent. You have the lawyers do what they do. Politicians stay out of my lane. You know, they do what they do, which is have a press conference and add to global warming and climate change with their hot air. Uh, and then we uh, we break the law. I tell you very open. I break the law. I'm willing to go to jail, but we have eight, right. count them, eight migrant centers we've closed now. Well, we wish we had more time. Yes, and 81 arrests. Exactly. Yes. Right. Thanks for popping in. Better That's late right. than never. John Burnett, stick around.